Okay, then we um, are recording, and before we do anything else, craft. Well, assuming that destiny is at work and extra potent werewolf breeding abilities are in play, give me a 1d10 difficulty 9. If you roll 9 or 10, Tina is in fact pregnant. Yep, that's the consistency of my bad rolls. <laughs> I mean, in this case, it's a good roll, right? <laughs> Save me! Okay. Awesome. What have you done to offend, to offend RNGesus recently, Kraft? Uh, Do you RNG. want to spend a destiny point? Your one destiny point for Alka's Red? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. no. Oh. Uh, Actually, no. you know, hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should make you spend a destiny point if you want uh, walks with shadow back. And if you I, did, then you, I would allow him to come back without any crippling battle scars. I'd go for it, but it ends up on our. But now I just it ends up for Armand. Armand, do you feel like you want this character still alive? He can get render craft, which can disable vampire active abilities yeah. and cut through the wards of the chantry. He's kind yeah. of essential at this point. Because oh, okay, otherwise, yeah. like, I won't take it back because I already made you roll for it and do will drum over it, but I will pick up some battle scars and fuck you up. Yeah, I took a look at them. Honestly, given everything that's going on, I would not be surprised if you handed me brain damage. Well, you are poking your uh, head out. Hello. So... Let's read the description that whole of on my own blood for probably like three or four minutes thing. Let's yeah, see. Being, being strangled, kind of. By your own blood. Uh, I think. I think your head just got riddled with uh, bullets. Yeah. Honestly, if we leave it up to this, I'm probably gonna give you a missing eye, a broken jaw, and brain damage <laughs> because of just how riddled with bullets you were there. Oh no, then I'm gonna have to. I have to follow the litany on then. I have to put you down, man. <laughs> I mean, I think it's not your choice to put him down, but his to be put down. I mean, fight me. Yeah, I'm he's a kind of guy, yeah, dude. <laughs> and I'm a glass walker, you should allow our olds to live. Well, he's not old. He's kind of crippled. <laughs> I mean, retards are old. Destiny point. You can spend a destiny point to make him get away from this without permanent damage. But as is, I feel like given that I'm allowing him to survive in a way that's essential for you, and given that you have the option of a destiny point, I kind of have to uh, inflict some damage here. I'd say yes. Up to you guys. Yeah. Then. I, 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 I may be biased, but I'd honestly spend the destiny point here. I mean, if you guys think... I mean, it's not that bad. He can still fight. He he might be stupid and he might drool when you leave him alone, but just point him at an enemy. You're going to try and get us to keep pushing off using the destiny point until we end the game having a lot, until we uh until we lose and have not spent the destiny point. We may as well spend it now. It's up to you. I mean, it's just what? a little brain damage. It's not like I'm gelding you now. If I did that to Alhazred, then we would have a problem. <laughs> uh. 
Then Frag McFragging will come. He wants Matt Frag McFragging. Sure, let's spend the fucking destiny point on this. We should have probably spent it on saving the kinfolk in the first place, but whatever. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, Rather, think about it. Okay, so vote in chat. Yees or nays? Okay. See, we got to know Nyaxi was like, I guess, he, she, he's, not, he's not on board with it. Uh, okay, then yeah. your destiny point is happily gone, and a few minutes later, the kinfolk, by the way, while you're waiting, you yeah. notice that he has stopped moving, and Arman is... Every, it's like the pause between each struggling, drowning breath is slightly longer now. Yeah, he did. He did, man. I'm gonna pick up I this phone. Well and see who the fuck will get one chance to uh, to roll three successes. Um, well, when I actually rolls up, luckily he's still breathing, and you are able to with a destiny point. You just auto succeed that, and you are essentially you come to after remembering the hail of gunfire and the blinding pain with Lara standing over you, and well, essentially. Every part of your face and neck hurts. Great. I sort of, I sort of put my paws over my head and just sort of whine. Uh, is that a permanent loss or temporary? I think it's a temporary uh, point, yeah, right? Temporary, I think. Yeah. Not then yeah, you. You lose one capa one gnosis capacity until those you drop the silver for a day. I would say with as heavily as you got riddled that you would lose one of your storage. Uh, you know, like you would lose one of the points from your storage. Your permanent rating would stay the same. But, Fair enough. Yeah, you You God do I need to rest. Like holy hell, I'm almost completely out of uh, ability to to do stuff. Like, you can I very one... carefully, very slowly shift and let that heal. At least. Yeah. A few minutes after that, Firefang shows up and pops out of the Umbra. It's like... <laughs> Essentially, the wolfish expression of what the fuck happened here? And uh, soon after, a couple more uh, normies slash kinfolk show up. What are you doing with the prisoners in the meantime? Alright, Demi was stepping away for 30 seconds right at that moment. Never mind. You are with Lara. You are on the scene at this point. Ah, okay. Yeah, so Remember it's... Laura was driving yeah. you? Uh-huh, right. Wait, what happened to my oh, kinfolk? Yeah. My kinfolk took the other one. They had two mopeds, right? Yeah. The kinfolk took the one to the and uh, went towards the um, set. Yep. While well, we went here. You did. And yeah, over the next couple of minutes, like I said, more kinfolk do show up, like four or five. So the armor need more healing. How hurt is he? Uh, he certainly is hurt, but it is lethal since he took it in his breed form. Ah, so it's going to heal if he just switches form. Yes. So but given how for? wounded you are, you probably want to actually use a rage point for switching forms rather than rolling oh. for it. Because if you botch that, you are so fucked. Yeah. Oh, hey, Demi, you're back. Uh, Demi, well, Aru decides on the only thing he can kind of do. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What do with prisoners while you're waiting for everyone? What have you been doing with them? Uh, I want to try and see uh, some way to restrain them, or just at least make them so they... Well, not make them so they don't run away, because that would be... You can so knock them out. Noise. You can just deal enough mm. bashing to knock them out, right? I control the bash shit, maybe, yeah. They just I'm, take and bash them each other. Actually, actually, no. actually, I feel like I would have done that. I don't think they're going to be running. 
I mean, it might sound like that one day if there was more. gotten them earlier. Mm. Um, just, okay, since I kind of have them both in my arms, you know, so they don't run away. Uh, just from looking normally, am I able to see maybe some kind of uh, rope or anything in the car, in the pickup truck? Um, are they wearing belts? They would be wearing belts, probably. You can use that, right? I but know, there no. isn't anything in the car. They just, you know, there's a bag on the passenger seat. He probably also has belts. Ha 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 ha. No, just kidding. Let's not steal the dead guy's things. Yeah. I don't know, like, uh, with zero craft. Well, actually, I think I still, I mean... I maybe might actually... Can, I think I can actually tie them together. With, can you, know, you the hands survival? At least Oh, yeah, you... survival also works. I have enough survival. So yeah, I think I can uh, sort of restrain them with their belts, right? Deck survival, maybe? Mm, for a werewolf, survival, or for a wolf werewolf, survival isn't really from the hunter side of it, so that wouldn't necessarily include knowing how to tie things up for you. Uh, damn it. I'm gonna let you substitute Wits Brawl at a 7 instead of a 6. Okay, Wits Brawl at 7. Or Dex Craft also at 7, probably, because you don't have Craft. Nah, I'm better at Wits Brawl. No. What do you do with the guns? Uh, the guns? I think I'm big enough to just, uh... Actually, they have silver in them. Uh, I was about I'll to stomp on them, but them. That, that I see that's gonna hurt. Um, if you don't destroy them, I'll take them. Yeah, I'll just keep the. Uh, I'll just uh, sort of put the guns uh, in, back in the pickup truck and uh, wait for the glass walker. You okay. Know, to do with guns. So and eventually, all of you are gathered. You may discuss amongst yourselves these happenings. The ghouls are pretending to be securely tied for the moment. Yeah, uh, I, I'm probably going to burn one of my um, one of my last, the, my second to last rage points to um. Uh, I think I'll shift actually into a uh, Hamid form since it's not breed. I can still heal up, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just that it has the most uh, steps in between. But yeah, you, actually, yeah, with Rage, you can just insta shift. Yep. So yeah, you start healing. Cool. And yeah. I'm going to assume no one's going to interrupt us in the. Well, there's. Uh, uh, 21 seconds it takes for me to get back to full with nothing else to Yeah, no, about. that won't. I mean, oh, you know what I'm gonna pretty no, quickly. Wait. As soon as we are, after we arrived and after we healed him, I'm just gonna tell him what I actually did, <laughs> so he doesn't get surprised when the kinfolk asks, start talking to him about what he said to them, and all that shit. <laughs> this is before, you know, they come. Yeah. I sort of make a little bit of a growling motion underneath my, my, uh, like, in my throat, and then I just sort of, and then I stop and I just sort of sigh. Oh well. I mean, I did it because they know you, probably you, better than they do my, me. <laughs> okay. Even though I live in this city, it's kind of funny how oh, bad in the end can fall. Minus one scrub neonate for the Nosferatu clan. Steal his knife. No, let's go. I'm just gonna go and check out what the fuck they actually had on them. Do they have wallets? I need money. For yeah. now. They, they did have wallets. There's not a lot of money in there, but there's like 40, 50 bucks in each. Hey, money. Uh, did the Nazi has, have anything interesting on him? Well, there was some sewer slime. God damn it, that's not interesting. <laughs> uh, there would probably be a phone on him specifically. 
Hey, I'm gonna check if he was in the chat or not. Uh, it asks for a uh, password. Can't. Fucking. It does actually not use shit. Use. Give me a uh, perception. Uh, technology. Well, actually, perception computers will work as well. Just difficulty six. Perception computers. Difficulty six. Mm hmm. Hey. Yeah, you. You look at the phone. Uh, working it all carefully, and it looks like it's a actually a pretty uh, good uh, setup. Some kind of a custom device added in. There's a part of the uh, body that conveniently slides out under the thumb when you grip it in one hand and uh, oh look there's some sort of a uh, fingerprint uh, pad in there hey so let's use his fingers to open it since it doesn't just fucking go ash uh i hate to say this but most neonites when they get the standard no xp stats generally are from 5 to 25 years as a vampire already, and that's enough time for the fingerprints to actually decay away. Huh. The bones are certainly still there, and there's a lot of slimy bits, but the skin most certainly is not intact. I don't know fingerprints from the... Wait, asking for a fingerprint right well it says enter passcode but it's probably if it isn't asking for the fingerprint with a misleading text then it is certainly uh, certainly gonna ask for one later because why fucking have that thing in there I mean you can always try and use plug and play when we actually have a Time that we actually have downtime if there's even such a thing at this point, and um, you, you can try and use that downtime to uh, to use plug and play to try and hack into it, hack into the phone with a computer. Yeah, could do that. It's um, a valuable piece of information, but you can't get into it right now, is basically it. I'll take the battery out and put it in my pocket for now, then turn it off though. What? Turn it off. I took. I said I'm taking out the battery and putting it in my pocket. Okay. It's fucking dead. Okay. You do that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I'm at home with phone right now. Yeah, sure. Good. Yeah, pulling out the battery shouldn't cause it to fry itself, especially if it was uh locked beforehand. Yeah, it seems fine. Self-destruct initiated. Yay! Nuclear explosion in 10. <laughs> Throws the phone like, towards Aramon. Wow. <laughs> Let's kill everybody. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Armand. <laughs> so, at this point, it's been like uh, 10 minutes, during which time the kinfolk have been slowly gathering. Is there anything else you wish to discuss amongst yourselves or do before you gather what sheep have made it? I mean, they're called, not sheep, they're called the flock, Chris. The sheep are actually normal humans. Come on, now. I thought you knew you were vulgar. Shit. I mean, I'm going to see if I can't um, ping to find out where they're holding the uh, the rest of the kinfolk, or at least the one, where the ones who haven't um, come here are. I mean, you can buy it with an auto. Uh, you do ping them, and most of them are still on the move. One seems to be somewhere, well, Tina seems to be somewhere in the vicinity of uh, Alcazred's house, actually. No. 
The others are moving somewhere deeper into the city. Man, a three point contact would be nice. Or like ally at this point. I uh, need other glass walkers for this shit. <laughs> no. But come on, being in charge of a big city like this on your own, that's prestigious, surely. <laughs> Not prestigious if you fuck up at every turn. There are no other glass workers in the entire city. I feel sad now. Where the fuck are the bognars at least? <laughs> Somebody. I'm so alone. So many kinfolk, so little <laughs> werewolves. Jesus fuck. Werewolves are uh, rare in the cities at mm -hmm. least. I mean, no, yeah. literally no glass walkers or bungnars other than me. Well, there's probably a nearby glass walker, other werewolf set, sept that we just don't know about. Well, there was a small sept of mostly glass walkers and bungnars a century or so back, right on the edges of the city, but something happened to them and the uh, cairn was subsequently lost and forgotten. I Hello. think we know where they were then. Fucking premieres. So, where do we bring the kinfolk? To the sept? I don't know. Another city? I have no contacts or allies for this. You do know, from previous experience, that the sept would take care of such, you know, fucked up kinfolk. The people in the sept would find some way for them to pick, put their lives back together. Yeah. It's probably best if we just sort of limp back to the sept and uh, heal as it stands. Meanwhile, in the distance, there are sirens. Yeah, you know, shooting in the middle of the street and all that yeah. jazz. Yeah. Are anyone's uh, heightened senses still up? Um, I think I probably perished, or I think mine probably fell when I did. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to say that mine's still up. It's up to you. Are they? I mean... Yeah, it actually would be, if maybe more danger comes in. Okay. Uh, Help. what are you doing? While this is going on, talking, patrolling the perimeter, where are you positioned? What are you doing? Me? Yeah. Um, I would be just like over here. Uh, the two of these motherfuckers are in, like in the back of the pickup. Uh, and I'm kind of just looking like at them and overhearing the conversation that's coming over here. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, you know, while we're still like. Perception primal urge, my boy. Difficulty? Seven. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I win that. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, Natai You're Defender insane. wins. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, oh my fucking god. god. Would they do it? Would they actually be this cunty? Perhaps. They would be, because... Let me take a look at the city list. Which clans are strong? Who do the Tremere want to fuck? Everybody? The Ventro are strong, but they have the Prince. The Bruja are strong, but they have no respect. So Bruja then? Holy crap. If they fuck the Gangrel, then they are the only other clan on the inside that has real power. I need to see if the Tremere region can see through that obfuscate. <laughs> because if he does, he might have something to say about this happening. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so that was a difficulty seven, so this should be at, I believe, five for him. You saw through it. Alka's red. You get the whisper in the back of your mind. Again? Again? Yep. Hmm. You do know you're about to die, right? Look to the right of that car in front of you. No, 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 a little bit more to the right. You see that? You see that? And as your eyes focus, you do, in fact, see a woman slowly, casually, just at a very slow pace, just keeping her eyes open, looking around and making her way towards you when you didn't before. So, um, I'm gonna go to Firefang, you know, just walk out casually to him. You can tell him to, you know, like, try and get him also to see her. And then I'm gonna tell him, there, there's a leech right there. Use your artifact on her, please, would you? Oh yeah, I never placed myself. I would probably be where okay, would I be? Okay, so... Like, uh... I would be over here, like, right now, probably, since I was picking up the thing from him. And just for good mm -hmm. measure... Perception alertness to actually overhear you, even though the aspects are all succeeded, and you look back at her, she's no longer there. She's out of sight. She ran. Or she's disappeared again. Because. Uh, huh. <laughs> yeah, Epic, that you're about to die was in character too. So now she knows. How do you wish to proceed? Firefang is just like, hmm, giving <laughs> you that look like not sure if full of shit and weaver mad or. No. I'm gonna pick up the. I have my cousin's phone right. I'm gonna pick up that and look through the camera, see if I can see anybody. <laughs> Fuck her. Watch through this. the phone. Oh, yeah. Okay, you do that. You don't see yeah. anyone. Hmm. How to... Take well, a picture, look, anything, not change anything. Yeah. Mm, no, so not Scanning yet. the perimeter, making sure that nobody's getting close to us. Yes, I mean, it should you... get moving probably. Uh, Firefang uh, actually Firefang. Um, moves over to the rest of you and just goes around whispering that there's a leech. Alka's red caught a glimpse. <laughs> they see me looking through a phone, watching around. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm crazy. God damn it, I'm not crazy. I swear to God. Yeah. Careful. Look above. That's so why I see nobody. Nothing. Nope. You just hear him whisper. Careful. Look above. <laughs> For fuck's sake, above! I whisper. <laughs> I look above. What do I see? <laughs> with, with the, the with the declaration that there are more leeches, I start um, shifting into Kranos. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she uh, she jumped the other roof uh, across the alley. <laughs> the Tremere isn't drawing this way too much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I keep watching. <laughs> There's nothing on that roof either. You know, he might just be fucking with you. <laughs> that point, yeah, probably. <laughs> She's under the truck, right under where you put the silver knife. I never moved the silver knife. I think you did. Didn't you? Did 
I looked, I like was looking through their shit, what they had on them, you know, and took the money and took the. Okay, if you phone. didn't take the silver knife, then he says she's behind the dumpster now, jump down next to the silver knife. She's ready to grab it when you're not looking. Man, I should have ready the gun at this point. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, red. I'm, I'm gonna ready my gun. <laughs> Shoot her. If I see her. Uh, which gun? The heavy revolver with normal bullets or the silver bulleted one? One of the silver bulleted ones. The heavy revolver. Okay. It has three shots spent. I have... Do I would know that, right? Mm, you could check really quickly. Damn you! Fuck it. I'll activate hands full of thunder! <laughs> okay, you're looking around in a panic. Are you blind, boy? She just ran across the street! She's by that car! <laughs> <laughs> and he draws your attention towards one of the cars with the kinfolk in them. Oh my fucking god. I'm you looking know. through the phone, you know, all this time. I'm using it to try and see what the fuck she is. God damn it. It doesn't have fucking news. Why has it all of our news tightened senses at this point? <laughs> because I have one gnosis. I am down to one of each of my um my my Geru specific resources. I have one temporary willpower, one gnosis, and one rage. This is painful. Does does like Jack have fighting senses? Yeah, does Jack have it? Because I told him first. I don't use that. He says he doesn't see anything either. <laughs> he uh, actually uh, whispers at you again in a furious, uh, sibilant whisper. Are you blind, boy? She's moving back along the line. What? She's moving. What did you say, Chris? He said she's moving back along the line of cars that's forming with the kinfolk. Like towards us or away? Away. And I literally can't see her. Nope. Uh, There's a pause. Okay, she's around the corner. There's another car there. Pulling up right now. If you want to catch her... No. It's too late. No. Yep, she's moving the body in the back seat. What? Like, how can she kill somebody and move the body in the backseat without making any noise? You don't know, she might be super strong and uh, very careful about it. Are you fucking with me at this point, you motherfucker? Roll perception empathy. If you want, try and tell. At what difficulty? Six. Three successes. You're pretty sure that he has been bullshitting you all along, other than the first sighting. <sighs> Guys, let's go! Yeah, let's. We we should head to the cairn. If nothing else, they can uh, deal with the kinfolk, and we desperately need to rest. Okay, uh, whoever is leading the caravan, I will need a wits drive to avoid the incoming police, because you have a lot of cars, even if the police are coming from ways off still. Uh, wits drive. God damn it. 
this would be, I think, a difficulty 8 roll, but you... This... You actually have willpower left, right? You fucking roll. <laughs> I don't have willpower for this. This will mostly affect time, if you, as long as you succeed. Yep, yeah. Nyaxi, you roll, you roll, you can spend your power, you roll. What the fuck? Don't care. <laughs> like, it's literally your fault, you should roll and spend your power. I, if, okay, okay, you want me to spend your power, you want me to be a rage monster. Like, you're, fucking, you're such a fucking useless piece of shit. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, snap. If you want me to fail, I can roll, sure, I can roll and fail. Okay, okay, if you don't want to spend a little power, go fucking roll, you don't spend a little power. I want you to roll though, I don't want to roll on this. I don't have four dice for this. Don't feel safe. Sure, I will it. spend a willpower and you shut the fuck up, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Shots fired. Holy shit. It's a one success. Okay, you you have to circle back and forth, and you're pretty sure that by the time you make it out of the town. Pretty much every one of your cars will have been marked because people will have been watching at that point. A lot of people. And you've probably given away the location of your sept, most likely, but you do get out without being fucked. And you do make it to the sept. And the Tremere start laying plans for a new chantry. Yeah. I mean, that was going to happen or whatever fucking else, but he's just watching us at this point, fucker. Strangely enough, the taunting voice does seem to cut off mid-sentence as you cross over into the sept uh, craft. What was he saying? Oh, is that where you rats are keep... Damn it. <laughs> Fun times. So you do make it back to the sept with the... <sighs> We're gonna call it five kinfolk and craft. I'm gonna need one more luck die. Difficulty six. Yay. It's gonna be a five this time. Improvement. Nope. <laughs> At least it's not a botch. You know, a drone flies in with a picture and a removed arm from, <laughs> you know, a day or two later and just, <laughs> just drops it as a gift. It's a picture of a man clutching a bleeding stump in a SUV. <laughs> it looks like the road not too far from the sept. That's the only news you get of the kinfolk that decided to try and make it here on their own, more or less. Other than your two cousins, those were quick enough to make it. Okay, that's a silence. Does that make you sad? Yeah. It makes me angry more than anything else. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's pretty clear someone's fucking with you for all their worth. Yeah. It, it, this, the Tremere probably has a sadist nature, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He's just trying to break you all. He really doesn't understand Garu. Doesn't matter, he's gonna break you. <laughs> I mean, we're at the sept, so can I can I take Ren the craft? Uh that depends on how long you're staying there. How long do after you wish that, to stay there? 
after a night's rest, I, I want to go and raid this fuck. I want to go and fucking kill some people in this chantry. You well, want you to go wait for me on your own? I mean... <laughs> he pissed me off really good there. Fucking with me. I mean, I want to wait at least three days, honestly. That'll get me most of my willpower back. We need at least, we need to like one day there, then spend a day there, and then a day back. It's already three. Okay, what? I mean, Craft, if you hoof it there without resting and without waiting, just essentially just enough to catch your breath and not be extra exhausted, because you have pushed yourselves harder on this night to get a proper night's rest on this night, I would say. You can just be back there next night, more or less. If you do well on the drive check, you can be there before the sun sets even. No, I would want to go like in the... just when the sun goes up. You know, like in the afternoon probably when the sun is... pretty up. Okay. Then yeah, you would probably be delayed. What kind of renown do you wish to claim for this? I mean, uh, then we can try and claim the vampire kills he did. Yeah, totally can. Uh, first the strong vampire and the uh, I'll vampire. stop you right there. As far as glory renowned goes, you would get a permanent dot and you would have that recognized, but you wouldn't be able to go above that. Because you can only yeah. gain one dot at a time. Yeah, okay then. I'm just like giving all the examples that I of the glory, not just, you know. Yeah. Just killing the uh, elder vamp would have been enough. But considering how powerful the vamps are and all the abilities you've reported them displaying uh, they are willing to arm you potentially with some more fetishes and with cash and uh, weaponry but they don't have that many werewolves patrolling the grounds at the moment because a lot of them are out fighting the apocalypse so they can't really promise you manpower just for the most part you know material resources yeah I mean, if they weren't fighting the apocalypse, then the vampires would sit back in their cities and watch the world burned around them. The apocalypse is kind of the vampires in some ways, too. Otherwise, it's yeah. made. It's all connected in some weird fucking way. I mean, it's at least partially the Ventrue's fault. Uh huh. Yeah, the one of your them. acquaintances in the Sept. Uh... Well, I think the werewolves would have some contacts, or at least someone that watches the news. You have been declared a homegrown terrorist, Al has read. Well... <laughs> hey, so I'm just building alternate identity points then, how the fuck do you... <laughs> you are essentially on the uh, TV. People are asking for any info on your whereabouts and to report it to the uh, police and to be very careful in approaching you because you are armed and dangerous. And yeah. if they see <laughs> you and you are trying to interact with them, the best thing they can do is pretend that nothing has happened and shoot you in the back of the head first chance they get. Well, not mm -hmm. in those exact mm -hmm. words, but the message is there. <laughs> I mean, civilians aren't really allowed to kill other people. I need to still go through the courts and laws, right? <laughs> I may be a fucking terrorist, but come on. You know how bad America is in the real world? This is the world of darkness. Oh, God. Someone chemical attacked a major city called Springfield a couple of weeks back. Everyone's <laughs> on edge. They're nuking the Middle East right now, literally. <laughs> Rip. What a beautiful world we live in. Malkov is uh <laughs> battling Bruja or the ruins of Tunisia. No, not Bruja, salute. What's Malkav doing with Tunisia? Uh trying to stop Salute from digging a Bruja. 
Mm. Like we so covered in a previous yeah. mini campaign. <laughs> Are there yeah, that any? Was yeah, that's good. <laughs> you fucking want to con- want to you the Bruja who went to continue building up new Carthage, like the only survivor in Yaxi. Mm-hmm. I mean, Carthage will prevail. Yeah, the United States of America sees the idea of a new Carthage and a uh, pan-Mediterranean empire that does human sacrifices, exactly what those Muslim ragheads would do, and launch the nukes, please. Wow, rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is there any other glasswalkers in this set, or like any bone glass I can like try and contact? There's like three or four, but uh, you know what? Roll a luck die. They're probably out supporting oh. other cities. Or efforts in other cities. Finally! God damn it! Okay. <laughs> that, that I was waiting for. There is a glasswalker here, right now, in between missions, and about to head on to another hotspot, in fact. But he's here for there day or two. Who is of about equal rank to you? What do you want from him? Help to build a new identity. He probably knows my fucking problem at this point. Ah, oh, shit. Dude, uh... Shit. Um... I think I have a razor somewhere. I think we need to shave your head for a start. That might help a little. Just get in. <laughs> <laughs> Just build up and, and you need you need to change the way you dress. You you need to change as much about your appearance as you can. I I mean I shit, I'll ask around when I have a moment, but I'm kind of busy, but I can I can help you alter your appearance while we're here. I can do that much. I mean I'm kind of lacking any kind of resources at this point. <laughs> Uh, so, getting new shit to use, huh? I just go skinhead or what kind of shit? I know skinhead is too intimidating. <laughs> way to do! The rage monster! You're <laughs> just a skinhead that radiates pure fury and death! I mean, I have it. <laughs> pure fucking fury at this point still. Uh, no more suits then. That's sad. When it's just me and him talking, right? Nobody else is listening, or are we like in a public area? You can be in a separate area if you want to speak in private. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's better than... I mean, most people probably already know my problem anyways. National fucking terrorist. <laughs> Later. You know, people are chanting something about white supremacists and the evils of our rampant patriotism. <laughs> or something okay. about you, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare use a Tiki torch, <laughs> right? Don't you dare. <laughs> they are not for the likes of you. <laughs> Did I lose those five successes into finding fucking bombs? Uh. <laughs> Did they go up? You uh. you can try and continue them, but you need to get them to recognize you to be able to continue that line of questioning, which means a lot that to see if they turn you in. Yeah, no, let's not. Let's not. I mean, now I know where to start, right? gonna be easier now right no it's actually harder because the easy to reach people you now can't approach because they know you not if i change my face enough right sure you change your appearance you are now a skinhead in a leather jacket with metal studs Let me well, find a new picture. Appearance already. 
Do I take a minus one appearance dot now? Are skinheads beautiful? They are in their own way, I'm sure. We shouldn't <laughs> discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> So how does this make you feel? Do you feel sad in your soul? No, just pissed off. Radiate that fury. Okay. Sure. It's not gonna fucking break me, that motherfucker. So, uh, uh. well... Alhazred is doing that. What are you doing? Or I take it you are doing a... Learning a gift. Yes, this is where I'm learning rend the craft. Okay. Is anyone else learning any convenient gifts while you have the help and the year or whatever elders reside here at the moment? No, don't have the XP. Can I learn my fucking electroshock? Probably no electricity spirits anywhere close here. You know, with that then... The Glasswalker knows it, and he would be willing to teach you, but you don't really have the time. Yeah, exactly. He will give you a tip of where to find an electricity spirit, but you're gonna need to actually get that spirit to help you. Uh, you know. Yeah, and then I need the Axis help to do that, because I can't fucking talk to spirits properly. Mm hmm Okay, so you wanted to stay for three days. Uh, are you staying that long, uh, Craft? I mean, I'm doing my fucking fix at this point. Mm hmm Okay, in I'm that case, to... I think the Elders would have enough time to essentially organize you a some sort of rite or ritual to help you get le more gnosis. So I think they would help you recover two points each. Okay. What about willpower? How much do you manage to really gain? I think you... Oh, we're not counting the night you went to order, but you stay for three days after that, so... Um, head over in the morning of the fourth day. So you'd be able to recover three. Mm -hmm. Make sure the moon yeah. calendar is proper. So you'd be heading in more or less on the last night of three quarters moon. Cool. And that's um, three rage for anyone who isn't a... Uh... Yeah, you would be able to re essentially refill to full rage. Uh, does you're pretty pissed. Yeah, you're still... right. You would lose a point of that. You're still pretty damn pissed, but it's slowly simmering down. I. That motherfucker. Nearly okay. fucking killed Lara. Nearly fucking killed <laughs> Shadow. Nearly fucking killed <laughs> Stonekeeper. Nearly fucking killed you, killed so many kinfolk, that asshole! He even took Tina. <laughs> he's fucking... he's gonna fucking pay for this. Oh my fucking god. You still have the phone, right? Uh, the Nazi phone, you know. And my... The phone info. that uh, you used to message the group. Ah, right, yeah. Uh, you get a message of Tina, naked, chained to a bed. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he is working his ass off. He, he's working really hard to try and break us. <laughs> I mean, he's working on me right now. He's probably going one by one. <laughs> Fine. I mean, no he doesn't worries. have an easy way to reach any of the rest of you. What, what, what uh, ritual is he even using for this? Or like, not ritual. Is it a thaumaturgy or is it a ritual? No, you just see many, many marks of abuse on her body. More rage for me? No, 
with as high over as you are, I would say not. You would still simmer down by one point, but he's really pissing you off. So I should have simmered down by two, but not anymore. Like, yeah, if this was and if the provocations weren't quite as bad, but it's as a constant aggravation. They sent you the hand of a kinfolk that tried to make his way to you. As a fuck you, you can't protect them. With a fucking drone. Yeah, I think our objective at this point is to murder him and then burn down the chantry. Burn down the chantry. <laughs> Hell, they even made us a perfect scapegoat. A man who no longer exists. <laughs> The terrorist Arj had killed himself in a suicide bombing in this building. Al has read. Think of the advantage if the werewolves would have a loud, terrifying name to drive the mortals to fear and anger and destruction. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Sending in. Uh, this was Arj. Me though, so I'm gonna have to head out. Uh... Sure, Demi. That's the exact. Wording. Will Daddy Wolf come and save his damsel? <laughs> wow. One of the neonates helped him with that one. Yeah. <sighs> it's beautiful, is it not? Ah. Anyway. Could I probably get like, since they wanted to arm us with fetishes and shit. Could I get that fetish that Aramon is using, the shadow one? Uh, yes, you could easily get that one. I think that's a level one fetish. I'm gonna check. And yeah, I, I'm gonna split it here and then we can continue for the last part.